Rob Shapiro from In The Mind Of with Angelo Marcella. Welcome, Angelo. Angelo is our athletic trainer at Professional Physical Therapy. Um, happy to talk to you. Always fun to watch, Angelo. So if you ever kind of get to know him, he's just a lot of energy and his excitement. Like does work with St. John's and kind of seeing some of your videos and watching you for your day is yep. kind of a fun thing. So what what is the role of athletic trainers now within professional and then have you built your team and yeah. what are you guys up to? So we've developed the athletic training program by just building up with local high schools that obviously in, in sports and in the media, athletic trainers are in high demand with with the relaying of a now big thing on concussions, obviously, and having someone who's like the first responder at the school has been a big thing. So a lot of schools, are, even though it may not be mandatory or mandated in the state of New York to have athletic trainers on site, a lot of schools are going that way just to be more proactive instead of being reactive. When someone gets hurt, now they're like, well, we should not have, we should have had an athletic trainer on the sidelines. Does every high school now have to? or It's not mandated. Thing? It's not mandated to have it, but it's obviously highly, you know, it's highly, um, what's the right word I want to use here? It's it's highly encouraged to have an athletic trainer on the sidelines. Um, there's many I benefits to it. I see the benefits, but why wouldn't somebody? Is it that? It's imagine. usually a financial thing, to be perfectly honest with you, with a lot of schools, because a lot of budgets don't have built-in athletic training services within it. Mm -hmm. But it's a nominal cost, and it's something that parents are never going to give you pushback with having an extra set of eyes on the sidelines, especially right. with the medical background that athletic trainers have, to be there for their kids. Right, and I think the cool part for me to see athletic trainers, relationships you have with your docs. Yep. They're probably better. Than, PTs are pretty good. I mean, we have some pretty good ones. You guys are pretty... Yeah, I mean, right. docs, I mean, honestly, I've spent many uh, sidelines with doctors, and they love it because obviously doctors, athletic trainers, physical therapists are all part of the sports med team, but the doctors and athletic trainers are typically the ones on the sidelines at, like, football games or any, like, high-contact sports, and it's a great relationship to see them and have them as a resource for where someone goes down and they can help you evaluate, it definitely helps build your confidence working with right. a doctor. I'm a good, I mean, the part typically for PTs, we'll see in weeks later, they already had their injury. We didn't see it. Right. Where your athletic trainer was, hey, there, I just, I saw how his knee went this way, Doc. It went. Yep. Or a valgus, you know, type of things or missing things that no probably doubt. somebody else would. And now even on the sidelines now, like even at high school levels now are developing like streaming services where now you can download videos of games oh, wow. and watch the games on the mechanism of injury right on, Right then and there, or even the next day, they'll download the video, send it to you, and you can physically see the mechanism of injury because every, obviously sports happen at a fast pace. So you may think you might have seen something, but sometimes these kids, there'll be a non-contact injury, and you're like, what happened? And then you're trying to figure out what happened, but you can go back to the video and see exactly what happened. Yeah. So probably didn't prepare you for this one. What do you see five years from now? What is that like trainers going to, what's going to be like? It's a good question. I mean, I, I think you're seeing a lot more of athletic trainers in the non-traditional settings, um, and I think you're just going to see more and more of it. You're seeing them in, in the ROTC, you're seeing them in dance, you're seeing them in, in theater, you're seeing them in all different aspects of... In factories. Factories, and industrial yeah. settings. You're seeing so many different ways that companies are utilizing or bringing down their like liability mm -hmm. with utilizing athletic trainers because we do have a, a bunch of knowledge and resources that we can not only just be athletic who tape ankles. There's a lot of things we could do to help prevent injuries, by just evaluating someone in the industrial setting or even in some type of non-traditional setting. All right. So what's your in your mind, what's your perfect relationship with PT docs? Like how does that system work? Yeah, I think it's it, it's it's the, the ultimate sports med team, right? You have the athletic trainer who's on a sideline, first hand on there. They're about they get the injury to see uh, on site what's going on. Then it can potentially make a good referral to a good orthopedic doctor, sports medicine doctor who sees this because a lot of these sports med doc want to see these injuries. And then it becomes the communication of now you have the ATC who referred it to the doctor. Now the doctor is potentially going to send for therapy if it's a case that's either surgical or maybe non-surgical that they want to kind of keep that's away from the chronic issue. And now you're communicating. So like now it's like, all right, ATC is, has the avenue of the doctor referral and now the PT that they're going to. And in our system, we have direct access to talk to these physical therapists how they progress in, what do they do in therapy? What can I do in the athletic training room or on the sidelines to contribute to their physical therapy? So how does it, it's, I was thinking about teams, how big is a football team? Like how do you, how does the athletic trainer follow their patients? I know it sounds, I mean, if you're seeing yeah. teams and you're in high school and you're seeing three different teams and. Yeah, so nowadays, again, even like the software involved, like there's documentation where you can go and document and document all their rehabs that they're doing on, an, on a mobile platform. And then you basically can track all their rehabs 
upload files in there from the doctors or physical therapist and start following what they're doing. And then return to play programs or all can be in there and it's easily managed that way. Yeah, so interesting part for really come to outcomes they could, you know, who's the best therapist to go to? You ask your athletic trainer. Yeah, because right? they know you know who your outcomes are you from. Could, you could track you know where they're they go to. Yeah, of You'll course. Know the yeah. Wise so that's part of the documentation that we require for our athletic trainers is we require weekly updates on, on what's going on at their schools, so we can help them with like, hey, maybe this person should see this doc, and maybe they should maybe you can come into our office and do some direct access or some little things to kind of prevent further injury, and then you could track that, and then you could communicate with the therapist that way. Right. So how many athletic trainers do we have now? So right now we have 15 high school contracts in New York. Um, we, we have some in New Jersey as well in Massachusetts. Um, overall, some schools have multiple ATCs because um, they're bigger schools um, and they have a bigger budget to afford more athletic trainers, which is fantastic. Um, so we have, like I said, 15 high school contracts and 20, 20 athletic trainers involved in that. Hmm. And then what's your, your, your perfect as far as like the... Um... You're going to see future. You say every every school will have one. Yep. If you had the perfect Ideally, world. Ideally, yeah. And then having multiple. Is there a clinic within the schools? Do they have physical their own therapy training? clinic? Yeah, or the training rooms? Or they, are some big some of the schools do allow that, but it's it's a little bit more challenging. A lot more red tape to do it in a public school system because you technically can't have a one stop shop. It's got to be it's got to be the for the parents' decision to make. And obviously, we're not going to ever step on toes if someone has a relationship with a pre existent therapist. By all means, if they're happy with those outcomes and they're happy there, stay there. But I, we usually kind of talk about the communication part of their rehab, where if they're in our system, we could talk to the therapist, communicate how they're doing. Yeah. Um, but some of the Catholic schools um, are a little bit less lenient, and they have physical therapy on site um, in there. We actually do that out east in, the, in Suffolk County. There's a boarding school, Stony Brook School, where we actually mm -hmm. have the athletic training contract there, and then we provide a physical therapist schools there a couple of days a week to so manage in, to manage injuries. I visited one of the schools in Huntington in one of the Catholic schools. So I yep. was amazed by their athletic training, like their whole thing was like, well, this is like college. Yeah, they got like a some small mini college. Pretty amazing. And yeah. myself, I you know we have contracts with some colleges as well, St. John's University in, in Queens, and then we also also do it in uh, Felician University in Jersey, and then in, um, so that's basically two schools that we offer physical therapy and athletic training services where we'll provide an on-site physical therapist to the school as well. And Iona College, well, Iona University up in uh, New Rochelle. Right. We do the same. They'll become university. University now. Big, yeah. um, so My yeah. My alma mater now is a university. Yes. Kind of, mine is Toro. It's Toro University. So. The Gales, maybe. There Good school. Go. Cool. I yeah. could talk forever, but... Uh, same. Great, great to talk to you. Always a pleasure. Appreciate Thanks, it. Good to see you. Rob Shapiro from In the Mind Of with Angelo. Thanks, Marcel. guys.